few people keep asking me in Scouts videos, I figured I would uh, make a quick video as to uh, the kit out on my WE Right, um, It's pretty much the stock model. Um, it's had a new uh, bottle put in recently because uh, it does wear smooth after a while. Um, other than that, it's just the standard WE Scar LCPC with Magpul backup sights. And that's it, really. Um, Ultra Predator in this for the minute. I do normally use propane, but it'll work just as well for this demonstration. So, um, one safe, single shot. Pretty much a lot, really. Not a whole lot to say. These things are pretty good straight out of the box. Um, they will wear down over time because they are made out of uh, clunky metal in places. Um, you can get the RA Tech upgrade kits for these, but they tend to be quite expensive and very hard to get hold of in this country. You're looking at probably um, about two hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more, from EOB Asia, plus your shipping, plus import tax for um, the steel bolt and um, trigger upgrade kit. I'll ask that one mentioned for now. So this is my latest purchase, which is the WA L85 M2. It's pretty much stock and uh, Azumi loves it. Unfortunately on this one, um, the previous owner, as it's brand new pretty much, but second hand. Um, the previous owner didn't seem to let me know that the um, fire selector switch flicks off of full auto every now and again. So, I have to hold it down, full auto out of it. So, other than that, it's a heavy beast. Um, about as heavy as my old LSW, which is an AEG, obviously, and had about a two and a half foot barrel, so pretty fucking big. But yeah, other than that, this thing is a beauty. Um, had to set the hop on it, so I've not really had a chance to uh, test this out because to get to the hop, uh, you have to get right inside here. Strip the damn thing down entirely because you have to use an Allen key into a tiny little Allen screw to adjust the hop, which is a right royal pain in the arse compared to the scar, which you just take a full low receiver, slide the bolt back, and you can get it up in there. Uh, the G36, sorry, G39 is even easier. You just pull the bolt back and lock it, you can get in through the top, um, don't even have to strip it down. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice set of rifles to be honest. Um, I'll do a review or another review more in depth of the G39 now I've got mine upgraded and running pretty damn well actually um, but yeah um, if you're really bothered subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not don't laters